So now we are going going to look into sign bar and its applications. So this is the basic structure of sign bar. Here we are having a main body and there are two rollers. These rollers are attached to the main body and rollers are provided such that there is single point of contact which is coming with this flat surface. Now what we will do is we are using it to find the angle for measuring the angle. Suppose say that we are going to measure the angle of this particular object. So what we do is we will keep this object here and after keeping the object what we will do is we are using a basic principle as shown here. So here this is the height, this is the length. So this length that is this AC length is the center to center distance of a sign bar. So the size of sign bar is described by the center to center distance of these rollers. So here uh, we have that center to center distance as L. Here we are having that as 200 mm. Now, if we are able to get this H, so how we will get H is for this particular H, we will insert some si some angle gauges or some slip gauges, gauges here, slip gauges here, such that this surface will become flat. So after checking that if whether this surface is flat, if surface is flat, we can take that particular measurement as H and by using H and the given L we can find a sin theta is equal to H by L from which this theta can be calculated. Now let us look how we proceed. Now what we do is we can directly jump into some trial and error method. So what we do is we will take a clinometer and we will be keeping that above the surface. So after keep, keeping the clinometer above the surface we will uh, look into the rough calculation. So if you are looking at the rough calculation here we can see that it is about to some in between 4 to 5. So we do not know the actual measurement. So let us take it as 5. So if we are taking that theta is equal to 5, then we will take sin 5 is equal to h by l. So l is 200 mm we know. So from which h is equal to 200 into sin 5. So we will get that as about some 17.8 or so. So what we do is, so now we know h is equal to 17.8. So that is this height is approximately equal to 17.8. It will not be 17.8 but it will be near to it. So now what we do is here an angle gauge, here this slip gauges are provided. So in slip gauges we have different blocks of different sizes. Uh, now here the size is available here. So what we do is we are already find that it, the height will be about 17.8. So we will take this 16 block. In that 16 block there will be two mirror, fi mirror finished surfaces. So and uh, in that block itself this 16 will be engraved in it. Now we will have another 1.8 such that now we have two pieces which together it is able to give 17.8. Now what we do is. Uh, we will uh, ring these two blocks together. So for ringing these are first kept in the mirror finished surfaces are, are first kept in first fraction and then it is moved in the direction as shown and now at last we are able to get to 70, a height of 17.8. Now we will remove this chronometer and uh, we will be setting the sign bars here, like this. So now if the height is exactly 7.8 then the surface will be flat. So now we are going to look whether the surface is flat or not. For that what we do is we will be using a dial, dial gauge for that a plunger is available here. First we will keep this in initial position and initial position we will be setting this to zero value. So now we have the initial base reference value zero. Now if the surface is flat while moving this gauge throughout this surface we will this measurement will remain as zero. So for that what we do is we will be first we will draw two references like one line will be drawn here and another line will be drawn here then after that a line joining these two points will be drawn. So now what we want to do is we want to move this plunger through this particular line. So now we will move. So upon moving it is seen that our dial gauge shows deflection. So for this particular dial gauge one complete revolution is 1 degree. So this 1 degree is divided into 100 parts so that 1 by 100 point zero zero one point zero one. So now we have total 1 revolution plus now about 1 revolution plus 1 uh, least count 1 that is 
1.01 mm so that means one, this plunger have moved up so as it is in the clockwise direction plunger have moved up by a distance 1.01 mm now what we want to do is again take this slip gauge slip gauges out so such that we are taking another slip gauge of 1.7 so we will be ringing it together and we will be taking in the same position and after that again we will set the initial value and we will check for flatness at last when we are moving it so we will set it as zero and while moving is if the needle remains zero throughout the movement then we can say that not zero but if the rotation is within a one millimeter deflection we can take it as an approximate flat surface oh okay if if it is zero then it is exactly exactly flat, flat. if it is about on the mum okay we can conclude our experiment so what we do is we will move and we will check for flatness if flatness is okay we will take this particular height as our measured value by using sin theta is equal to h by l we are able to find theta that particular theta value shows the inclination of this particular surface so this is how by using sign gauge sign bar slip gauges clinometer and dial gauge we find the inclination of a surface thank you